My mic's been off that whole time. Thanks, chat. So, welcome once again to the now audio filled version of the game. You missed me saying how fucked Sam was. Oh, he frenzy trapped himself! Wow. Teddy. 
I'm all for taking chances, but God damn. Yeah, so just to reiterate, now that the mic's on, neither team has an Apo. Sam didn't have a, or sorry, Teddy doesn't have a bench. Sam had one, one reserve. Wow, it's just not punished though, eh? He might get punished in return though. That Yeti can take out that Alf. Pretty nice pickup. Frenzy traps himself right, twice in one turn. I thought I thought the uh, that Teddy was good with Norris. Why did I why did I think that? You can hear me now, right? Just to confirm the chat. Jump up fail, that's good. Yeah, I know. Not punished at all. Okay. Now that I've unmuted myself, you can hear me. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know what your team name is on you, so I thought I'd BM you with the stream title. And a little bit in the text below, because... I can't spell the other name. Can't picture it anyway. But yeah, it's uh yeah, Sam should really take a minute and think here. Should slow it down. He's got an opportunity here. To cause some damage. Not sure I like that. Now he just gave him a surf. So he's gonna have to make this dodge. Frenzy traps himself. Yeah, I don't like his choices so far. The Yeti's gonna have to rock and roll here. He's gonna have to go after the all. And then what? Oh, both runners are guard. Yeah, I'd want to go after one of those runners. But he's taken so much attrition already. Oh, that's a mistake. That's a giant mistake. Why would you go after the Blodger? Oh, that's a huge, huge mistake. That's a waste. Such a waste. Oh, I think Sam's about to get uh, pitch cleared. Wow, Sam, you're making it worse than it has to be. Oh my god. Push the Yeti. Yeah, I don't know how much either one plays with uh, Norris, but uh, I'm not in love with what I'm seeing. No, when I, I, when I said push the Yeti, I actually meant push the other Yeti. Up to here. I think that would have been better. I could be wrong though, but he has Dauntless, so this is not the hardest two die in the world. The Alf is right there. He rolls it. He had to though. He's that guy that was getting surfed all day. I guess it's just whether or not you re-roll it, but with no Apo down two players, I think you re-roll it. Whoa! Just fucking damn. Calm the fuck down. Calm the fuck down, people. Yeah. He kind of deserves that. Why his Yeti just, just didn't go after the other Alf is just beyond me. You know, low-hanging fruit is good, too. It's usually pretty ripe. That's why it's low-hanging, right?
Oh. Jesus, I thought you were saying I was muted again. Well, there's nothing to get too harsh about with yet. I mean, they're both not playing well. They're both <laughs> they're both definitely not using Frenzy, right? Teddy did it first, never got punished, and uh, Sam did it next. Sam's getting punished for it, though. Like, Teddy just has so much time to just beat the fuck out of him, it's not funny. Especially with the Yeti out for an extra turn, he's got less to worry about. And he has to blitz with him to bring him back in, basically. Because if he just... He, this Yeti could be gone the rest of this half, if he just wild animals. On a 4+, plus, so... Well, that's nice, at least. Yeah, I really hate the Yeti going after the Blodger. I think that was so bad. You've got tackle pieces. Use them when you want to go after Blodge. Don't use the Yeti. Dude, you don't have to have faith in anything. He won the coin toss. I mean, it pretty much hands him the win here. Matchup like this. Glass cannons, everybody with a shotgun. Like, whoever wins that coin toss has a huge advantage. And clearly... Uh, those were turn one. I think... Did he get all three on turn one? Or just the two? I'm trying to remember. He might have got three removals on the first turn, so... Wow, come on now. No. And I think he pile on here. Yep, he's got a... Oh my god, what are you doing? It's almost like Sam's giving up already. That's not how we play on Team Hales as a D. You're allowed to bitch and moan and complain and curse all you want. But you better still be playing. You're allowed to make all the noise you want. But you have to keep playing. If the scoreboard says 0-0, zero, zero, you best be trying to win. Huh? Well, something there. Like, this half's over. Sam should be thinking survival mode and attrition. Where, where can I get shots in that might help me in the second half? And take the easiest ones you can get. Don't be greedy. Because, again, no apo and no bench, so any removal is great. Honestly, if if Sam gets one casualty, they could be even numbers in the second half still if both KOs get up, so. I think he's going to foul, which I like. Because, why not? Who needs a dirty player? Could pay for it here, though. Some, some bad dice. Does not. And now the Yeti's just, he's, he's praying the Yeti stands up now. Snake Eyes! There you go. So there you go. They could be even numbers now, as it stands. I mean, Teddy's doing all the removal work, but hey. It still counts. It's still a removal. Oh, this is his blitz all day. This right here. I would stand him up first, try to move the Eddie first. But this is obviously the blitz, I think. No. At least he didn't try and blitz. Come on, safe move, Sam. Stand up. This dude. Did he not name his players? Didn't we have a conversation about that? Name your fucking players, people. This this is for fun. Oh, it's a jump up too. Oh he failed it. Dude, you should have just blitzed. Oh, come on.
Should have just blitzed. Oh wow, that is super greedy. Oh, uh, rewarded? He's gonna be tempted to foul. God, I hope he doesn't. But... Oh, why didn't he move away? Didn't he have more movement? Oh no, he was on the ground, wasn't he? Yeah, I, I just, yeah, I don't, I don't know. What's this guy? Mighty Blow Armor 7. Why are you going after the Eddy? I mean, you got him, congratulations, but you didn't get him, did you? So. Yeah, there's a tip for the kids. Just because you have jump up, doesn't mean you shouldn't blitz with those pieces. Sometimes it just doesn't matter. Like, that was a great situation to just use your blitz there. Because why not? He doesn't have pylon, so if you get a pal, you still got the rest of your movement. And now that he went after the Yeti... Oh, he didn't. He could have lost that ult. Which would have been uh, pretty critical at this point. Wow. Just going for it. Didn't get it though. So first things first, try, try and stand up the Eddie. Another one. Good place for it though, honestly. Uh, don't stand him up. Now see, this is where I could see a blitz being very, very good. You're almost, you're pretty much fucked down here, right? What is that? What is he doing? Oh, dude, don't play like you've got hope. You don't have any. Hope's overrated. But I hope you get a casualty. Can he move one more? Oh, he's gonna. <laughs> Whether he can or not, he's gonna. Don't risk this. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, so that stun on the Eddy, like I said, pretty much took him out the rest of the half. He scores next turn and has a reroll, so he's likely to burn his reroll right now on something. Is it a Yeti Blitz, though? Probably, actually, because this is a jump up, right? Yeah, so if he Yeti blitzes the guard and gets him, he can jump up and go after the, the other blitzer. Sorry for my uh, less than normal enthusiasm. I was up all night with food poisoning, so. And then I had to be up uh, for the guy to come check out my internet at 8 a.m. And he didn't show. I'm going to get some sleep this afternoon. But, uh, I'm pretty drained. I should drink more water. I'm certainly pumping it out of me as fast as a... It's like, where's all this water coming from? Should also mention in the Civil War, there are no inducements of any kind. So, so this is a uh, self-inflicted attrition. Yeah, his, his Sam's block choices could have been much, much better. I mean, what does he even get to go after now? I guess if I guess you make your choice here. This is a Yeti. YOLO? The Yeti only moves five, actually, yeah, no. You don't do this at all. You could stand him up and go for the dodge... ...jump up pylon blitz. Or you could try and kill your Yeti. Yeah, there's no, just, there's no reason to do anything. 
We lost the coin toss and failed miserably. The lesson is win the damn coin toss. Alright, there shouldn't he shouldn't do anything. He has a reroll, but the Yeti's just not worth it. From a sense of it's not a triple with block. It'll only be a double. And it's frenzied too. Oh, uh, there's the- there it is, there it is! Ah, uh, we couldn't get there. Almost three quarters of the way to the 1 in 1296. Which is proper punishment. He's gonna go again with no reroll. Wow. I can't help feel that he just should have been punished there. Not very impressed from either side. Which is sad because one of them's on my team. So. <laughs> get up! No, he got what he should get. He didn't get his ulf though. His dirty player he might as well not have dirty player at this point. He kind of can't afford to foul, so. Man, he's gonna need some cracking LOS blocks though, just like uh, Teddy had. Look, Teddy's just. Mm. He's got two chances here. Let's hope he sets up some good blocks. Is his pylon out there? Yeah, this should be priority one. He should go first. It all starts with him. The Yeti should be last, but I would still use him. Actually, the claw is irrelevant, so hold on. Yeah, but he still has Mighty Blow. He's only has three Mighty Blows, so yeah. Both Berserkers and the Yeti should be uh, throwing the initials. And I would try and engineer it so the, the Palmer goes after the sure hands. I mean, if he's going to put any value on the line, you've got to, you know, make it your priority. Because, see, he could put the Palmer here, right? Yeah, and then clear this guy with him first. And leave the Yeti here on the corner at the end for some triples. I mean, I like your optimism of a riot, but you get, you're not getting in there with all that crap. So I would just maximize my LOS. High kick. Yeah, see, nothing matters. I wouldn't have even went for it. There's no SPP to be gained, so there's no point in vanity passing. Although I did it in the World Cup for fun, but. Will be him. All right, so he's got his Palmer going. Beautiful. That's what you want. Now the other one next, this guy, and then triple this guy up. Might as well just put a guy like here and here. You've got the manpower, so. Or like that. Alright, it's only one. It's only one. There it is. Come on, you big beautiful bastard. So, nothing else to do. He got one, though. Like, that's, you know. So that's good. Still another chance at those two KOs. Teddy's at nine. Sam's at eight until these KO results are in. So they're both at nine. Unfortunately, he didn't get his Yeti though. Or not his Yeti, but his Alf. So that's a little unfortunate. But again, this is why I don't particularly like the way any of these Norse teams were designed. Because, um,. They all went super... I don't think any of them went with a deep bench, and almost none of them went with an Apo. So, you're in the second half, you're almost guaranteed to find yourself in a situation where you've got to put valuable pieces on the line. Like, he's got to put his Yeti on the line. He's got to put something there. Now, again, I think he should target 
the skilled guy with the Palmer. I don't know why he targeted the the shitty lineman. Yeti on Yeti's good. Yeah, he's definitely got a chance to bring this back now. If he can make some smart decisions here with his LOS blocks and not get blitzed, obviously, or something stupid. But I'm going to go pee and get some water. I'll be back in a minute. Is the replay bugged, or did Sam fall into a coma or something? I think it's bugged. Well, we'll see if it gets past it or not. And then Sam. Five minute break. What? They paused it? How did, well, not here, they didn't. Come on now. Yeah, call it where I can see it. I'm the, I'm the broadcaster, for fuck's sakes. I'm not paying attention to that shit. It's not magic. You don't get a sideboard after the first game. Because this is kind of boring for the rest of us. See, if I had known, maybe I could have like pulled up an internet article and informed you all while we waited. But I don't have my Discord in front of me, and I hate checking stuff on the PlayStation. For stuff that could potentially be a video, because that blue screen is annoying. Well, since you're all tuned in, perhaps you can inform me when they're back on. But that all is that's a big, it's a big loss. It's part of the reason I like the team is the two block guard alfs. Putting your strength to work. Yeah, I know. 
I already I, didn't we talk about this like 3 p.m. Eastern Saturday Sunday is fine as it stands the barring another like food poisoning attack which is not unheard of all right so I guess we're back on now something moved okay here we go I just don't like playing too late in the day. Because I tend to, I'm burned out a lot. I'm hoping I sleep good tonight though, considering, you know, how terrible last night was. What? What? Sam, what are you doing? Did you miss all the advice I gave about how to set up? Well, no, on Saturday I go get groceries, so it's unlikely I would even be home before 2 or 3 o'clock locally, which is like 1 or 2 o'clock for you, so... Time to rip it up. Let's go. Just push him away. Don't don't overthink this. He overthought it. Removal anyway? Oh! I don't know if I would have piled on there. But I guess he's getting blitzed if he doesn't, so Sunday. So you don't want to play Saturday? Is that what I'm hearing? Where's the ball? Uh, I'd wrap up that ball a little tighter. Oh, it's time for the big one. Oh, no. What do you blitz? Kind of sucks because the blodgers are the only things that are. Decent, but uh, ah, okay. When does the is the Eagles the early game? Because two p.m. would be when it's on. Like I don't know how expect how long you expect our game to take, but you know I don't play. I don't take forever. I play it a good clip unless there's a really uh, puzzling situation. I'm not faint fox. I'm not going to take five and a half to six minutes to play a three minute turn. It's just not going to happen. Maybe you just don't blitz. Yeah. Kind of can't now. So. Four p.m. I doubt that. If anybody's making quick work of anybody, it's me making quick work of you. But. I mean, I'm playing orcs. It's kind of not fair, right? I'm kind of cheating. I should have picked, like, goblins or something, giving you guys half a chance. Teddy's gonna crush the vice in here. See, I can't see it with any certainty 2 p.m. Sunday, but I can try. It might be a little after that. You know, it just depends, you know. Just, I can with certainty say 3 p.m., right? But I can aim for closer. We'll be in touch. You'll be looking for me. It'll be fine. So we'll just say it's Sunday.
time, 2 to 3 p.m. ish. Well, like I said, if if I if if I'm awake and coherent and ready to go sooner, I'll let you know. But just be on the lookout for me anytime after with like one one thirty. I'll message you and let you know. Can't be fucked up like their season. They're playing the Vikings, aren't they? Both of them kind of need to win that game. Or they're... It's almost over. More so for the Eagles, I think, but... Oh, wait a minute. Are the, the Eagles are in a shit division, though, aren't they? So they might be all right. Minnesota, though, not so much. They're in a good division, so... Yeah. Yep, their division's so terrible, they can probably get in. Oh, are they the 1-2-1 the one, one team? I thought the Eagles were. Are the Eagles 2-2 two two then? They're fine if they're 2-2. Two two. Yeah, the Vikings, then they really need one. Come on! God damn it. I know you want a foul, but please don't. GG. Yeah. Yeah, well, the Eagles are fine, then. Even if they lose, they're fine. I don't know what was good about it, dude. Every time I needed to do something, I got hosed. But I was always, you know, like I said at the start, I'm probably going to lose the game. It's Lizard versus Kemry. Down 160 TV, no tackle, down a Tomb Guardian. I had enough stacked against me going into the game. It just burns because it should have been a draw. It could have easily been a draw. But no. No, sir. Oh, Sam, no. I mean, you got him, so good, but... If you don't get him and get called, that is painful. That is painful. I don't know if it was for fun, dude. It seemed to be working. All those source dodges and pickups, you know. There's nothing I can do, right? You're just rolling dice. What am I supposed to do? I made big, stupid, risky plays, and they worked sometimes. I know where I lost, though, when I couldn't make the fucking... When Sedic failed the uh, GFI Blitz. I can't remember what half it was. It was in the middle of the pitch, though. When I rolled the one there, I knew I was done. Because it was such a wide open, just gifted blitz, and it just, I couldn't have it. Couldn't have it. Yeah, dude, you dodged the source. Yep. You did indeed. There's at least, yeah, there's three, there's somewhere between three and five, five pluses you made with the source. It didn't fail any of them, obviously. But anyway, back to Sam's misery. Um, so let's see, update. Teddy's at eight, because he had no bench. Sam is also at 8. So we're still even, but Sam's down two players because of stuns. So he's going to need a good turn. Teddy's got kind of got position on him, though. There's not really anywhere he can go. 
So he's almost got to stay neutral this turn and just protect. And try and set up to not be turned over easily and reintegrate his guys next turn. I hope he's going with the tackle, dude. I really do. He mean he has to, right? Oh, that was the shitty name. I knew you had a terrible name. I just couldn't remember what it was. Oh, that's good. Now he's got the uh, advantage for however long that lasts. Throw that block. Yeah. Here's the question. Do you eat this block, though? That's the question. You can't re-roll it. But even if you could, would you? I guess he's going to go. The back corner wasn't even worth... Nah, I guess that guy could run all the way around, but... Dude, it's such a just terrible generic name. I've already forgotten it. He just told me what it was, and I forgot it already. Was it Brawlers? I know you, you added baby because you thought you had to be cool. I know that's not actually part of the name. Like my team it is. But the uh, the bounty board. So Sam's got one casualty. He's on the board. For those on my team, hail to the D, baby. Three bounties up for grabs. Perfection bounty. Win all your games. Casualty bounty. He with the most casualties wins. And the light him up bounty. He who scores the most touchdowns wins. If you haven't seen it, it's all explained on YouTube in a nice four minute video. I just kind of rattle it off one day. Sam doesn't have any runners though, yeah. See. Okay, that's unfortunate. Yeah, see, this is where not having the other Alf hurts. He's going to have to use this Alf to clear the Eddie, though. But he does have Guard. His Guard's actually in the perfect spot. So this is why Guard's awesome. He can just stand up and run the Eddie straight forward. But then what does he do? He could even go to the Eddie to the side. Push him this way. But you got him on the first one, so. Don't just take the pow, dude. I mean, a push would have been better into a pow, but. You got him down. He can actually clear that off, too, can he? Yeah, he just steps here with all the guard. He's got two die on the off. Yeah. He's got it. So if if they got the pal too, all right, things are happening. He can't really potato though, because again, movement seven here. So plus it's a little early. I believe all these games have overtime, right? That's why. Bernie had to set it up the way he did so he could add, make them like knockout tournament styles. Because the uh, the private game customization is not that great yet. See, so, yeah, I run him out there. That's fine. His jump up guy is what I'm curious to see. He did throw a block. Oh, this could this could backfire. Nope. Don't be greedy. Good job. I don't think I like that, though. <laughs> I think I would have put him here. Because, uh... One, two, three, four. It's a one-die frenzy trap, but it's a blitz on the ball nonetheless. And it may not even be a frenzy trap. Two, three, four, five, six... Seven, 
Eight. Yeah. You can get some guard around to help. Wow, his Yeti just popped right up. I mean, he got he got the dodge at the end there to cover his ass, but uh, wow. Plus, with this guy stuck in here, the guard guy kind of makes this almost... It makes him have to commit this guy, if nothing else, right? So. Oh yeah, one of them's gone. Perfect, yeah. He's only got the one guard now. Yeah, if Sam doesn't lose his head, he should be able to reel this in. With his guard advantage now. But they both seem to want to, like, punt the game with frenzy traps in the first half, so who knows. <laughs> that sucks. But he didn't break, so hey. Not too bad. Not too bad. Look at the plethora of one dies out there, though. I think you just do this, right? Your Palmer goes first on this guy. Because you can push him here and then push him here if you don't get him. Don't push him up, Sam. Please don't do... Don't brain fart! There you go. Oh, look at that. Palm the shit out of him. Oh, actually, I would have rather he got it on the first hit. But, you know. Well, that really sucks because he has jump up. So he's got to put this guy in his butt. Mm. No, oh, I guess it's two down. But. Ball's gonna be exposed though, so you know I think this is I think this has been a little sloppy. I mean, I don't know, maybe you think about that pylon first. I don't know. I guess the idea was that I guess if he didn't get him, the Yeti would blitz him. Maybe he still has his blitz, by the way. He doesn't have a reroll though. I would think I would just leave everything alone. But that's me. I don't know. What's the situate what's the calling situation like? Usually I just choose to leave it alone. Because I'm out of rerolls and if I fail, I give them a free piece to work with. However they like like that. That's just this is straight up two die GFI twice. As is, nothing else needs to be done. Or sorry, no, he's got to clear this guy first. My bad. He's gonna jump up. And all of a sudden, yeah. Yeah, it's just that last turn just felt wrong. It didn't feel good at all. I think that's probably the game. Unless... Okay. No break, though. If there was a break there, I'd be much more... Much more pumped. But, uh... Alright. See if the Yeti wants to play. Come on, Yeti. Get up. I guess we just run over here and base him, yeah. Okay. 
Come on, Yeti. Be a pal. Now that, I just want to say I don't fully understand. I mean, I get it, he has tackle, which is nice, but... Shouldn't this guy have cleared him? And then he could have got the ball? Who's going to get... Oh, he has jump up. Never mind. Yeah, he's got some. But that's his Palmer, but... I guess he can use this guy, too. Stand this guy up already. We've got to keep the Yeti busy now. He still has his blitz, right? Is that what he's thinking? Uh, I, I already don't like this. Is he gonna blitz? Is he gonna blitz with this guy and then pick up with the? Yeah, that works too. Did he not blitz? What am I missing? Dude, if you can go forward more, yeah, go forward more. Absolutely. Should have stood next to this guy though. Actually, no, it doesn't matter. He still, yeah, it doesn't matter. I think I like my play better, though. Blitz into this guy. Try and kill him, and they just let the fucking... The dirty player pick it up. You actually could have got further down the field. Could have got, like, over here or something. Been well out of range. Well, maybe not. But... Alright, but that 1 in 36 there kept it alive. He is gonna Yeti Blitz. This is why I said keep the Yeti busy. Oh, this is a GFI though, isn't it? It was, but he made it. He didn't stand him. Why didn't you stand him up, Sam? Rez! They're not gonna die! Oh, it's so frustrating. Playing for overtime, too. But, I mean, you don't get to overtime if you don't score, so... And now what does he do? He's got a chain push. He's got to get him there. So that's all he needs. I would still run somebody over to base this guy first, though. Or screen him at least. Something. Because this guy's not jumping up. Please tell me he didn't forget about this guy. I wonder if he's just trying to think if he could do it without using the Eddie. I think he can actually, because of the other guard guy. Yeah, he could do it without the Eddie. But then this guy, I think, is just left wide open. But he can't reach the sideline, so he could just go stand over there. Oh god. What what Oh yeah, he could do it that way too. Run Actually I don't hate scoring this turn either. To be honest. I think the play is to hide here though. He can't get anybody on the other side for a surf, so... Yeah, this guy can't even hit, so if, he's, if he stands here... He at least knows he's gonna have another turn. But he really needs to tie up this Yeti. Obviously try and use your own first, but... 
Because if your Yeti can grab him, then you can use this guy to go fuck with this guy. Screen him off a little bit. Oh, he did remember. It's like one, two, three, four, five, my way in there. And this guy, right here. Beautiful! And this does nothing. Do nothing. Just eat it. Just eat the block. Do not give him another odd choice. No! God damn it. Ugh. Why? Ugh. Punished. Prop it's proper punishment, he just shouldn't have done it. If he was, you know, ballsy enough to make this dodge, he should have just went and based this guy. You know? He's yet he lived, though. Fucking hell. Looks like he's going for attrition. You got it. Don't answer, Sam. Just score. Just score. There's literally nothing to do here but score. Oh my god, he's gonna risk the game. You better fucking kill him. Otherwise, there was no point. Risk the entire game for a stun. Can't say I'm happy about that. Because he has to eat a round of LOS blocks. Wow, both of Teddy's runners are out. It's no, nice. There's no one-turn shenanigans, I don't think. He's totally reckless, dude. My ALF... If I, my ALF would be nowhere near the front line. Fuck that. The ALF's gonna be valuable for overtime. The Blitzers, the Yeti. Yeah, I would switch the Alf with the Guard piece. If you're that keen on having a Guard, the Strength 4 Guard is way better. Yeah, there's no one turns coming here. It's just gonna go attrition. Let's hope he doesn't get any! Oh, we got a reroll though. Yeah, there's no one turn there. It does have a lot of frenzy. Actually, all five pieces are frenzy. Maybe he could have engineered a one turn. At least we know there's no foul coming. We're way past the point of anybody throwing a foul. <laughs> oh! Ate it like a champ, though. Didn't hesitate. Overtime. Alright. Fuck Teddy on his KO rolls. Fuck Teddy. Fuck Teddy. Alright, he only got one. He got a runner, though. It's a good KO roll to get. And he still didn't get his all. Fuck. That all just must have had his brain scrambled. And the winner is... Uh, Teddy. Congratulations, Teddy. 
You win the game on the coin. You won. He literally won the game because of the two coin tosses. Teddy won the opening coin toss, smashed him. Now he won the overtime coin toss, smash him again. Oh fuck. There's no good way around the coin toss mechanic, though, is there? Somebody has to go first in a turn-based game. It's just the way it works. So he's got seven. Sam's got seven. Yep, Sam's got seven. Teddy should have the same, I think. Yeah, Sam's got seven as well. So even numbers, I guess. That's uh, that's something. But uh, Teddy's got a sure hand, so which is the big difference. Time for a rock to kill the runner. Oh, well, that's just bullshit. Oh, have another advantage. Me? I just realized that was my team. But he's going to get lit up anyway, so it doesn't matter. You could have six more rerolls if they're all off the pitch. <laughs> There's nobody to use them. Hold! Alright, it's done. It's still bad, but it's not as bad. Hold! Alright, we can live with stuns. Nice. That's a good one. Oh! Excuse me. Is he gonna go for it? No. Alright, Sam. Think. You have four players this turn. Be smart. I think the obvious play is the Yeti goes after the Alf. And then the Palmer. With the guard. Can perhaps go after the one of the Blitzers. The one on the left. Because if he goes for the one on the right, he just puts himself out of position and the game's over. So he's got to stay central. This is, uh... Although I guess with the Palmer you don't want to pile on either. You really can't put him on the ground. So you're kind of just hoping the Mighty Blow does the thing. What did he just do? Alright, somebody... He's going to try and get on the ball, I guess. But then somebody has to base the ulf. Oh, uh, I don't... This is so risky. He needs a push first. Oh, he got it. But now he needs the knock down and break armor. Reroll it. I mean, you got to. Otherwise, why'd you try? You got to be committed. We're not going to kicks if this doesn't work, so... Yeah, I think that's game. Provided his Yeti doesn't wild animal or do something stupid, but I think that's game. Yeah, because your Palmer can't go, come up and help, so... That's it. It's 
It's going to take a bucket of bad dice now. I mean, he should just set up on the left, right? I always hate it when people do stuff to stretch out overtime. Just win. Why? Because every extra turn you decide to stretch it out is another turn your opponent could roll some sixes, right? Alright, you didn't break armor. That's good. I was going to say, there's a blitz on the ball. Of course it's gone now. No, it isn't. It's a red die blitz. Nice. Nice little frenzy trap. Not punished. Downside, Yeti can't blitz. So I'm just trying to stand him up. He's got to go... Hmm. Both of his alts are in great positions. Yep, bring him there. That sucks. Stand up the Palmer. Bring the other Berserker over. And then try and dodge out and blitz. Oh, dude, why didn't... Whoa. <laughs> oh, why did you follow? Why did he follow? God damn, stop doing everything wrong. If you're gonna use the elf, come this way. Nope, you went the other way. Fucking hell! Right ideas, terrible execution. Just watch this. That just would have been a bonus. But. Oh, oh wow, a one and nine. Fuck me. Maybe the bucket of bad dice are real. Yeah, he just went the wrong way. He should have went towards the ball. Oh wait, no, never mind. That's I'm, I was looking at the board. It's just Norse everywhere, right? I guess it's not surprising I confused one. But uh, these stuns are, might win him the game. I thought this guy was hit the opposite team. I thought he could have pushed into him. But. I guess not. Don't scatter. No need. No need. Wow. It's over. Holy shit. Armor break, armor break, armor break. And like that. Why did why did Sam follow? I don't understand. He could have picked up that ball. Another one. Yeah, it's just done there. We're done. Unless he can't pick it up. Like, how many more times? Like, ten more times? <laughs> has to drop it ten more times, and then maybe, maybe. So he has two players, both on the ground. Yeah. It's hard to say what decided this game. Because they both made some pretty terrible mistakes, and then they both got some pretty shit dice. I mean, it's, it's, it's almost not worth it. He's just got to pick it up and run down. That's good. Yeah, see, see, Teddy's playing more like I like. He's making sure everything's marked. Everything's based. Now we'll do this Yeti Blitz for fun.
Again, we need 10 more failed pickups. Oh, there's two more. Out of bounds. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, can he score? Is this... He can score. Jump up, dodge, pick up, GFI, GFI, game over. That's the only play. That's the only play you roll dice on. Or I'm kicking you from the team. There is no other die roll to make. Stand your guys up. I mean, this guy gets served. So what? It's irrelevant if you score and win. Oh, tell me he sees it. Tell me he sees it. Don't do anything with the off. I know he's tempted. I know he's looking at it. He's tempted to do this. But that's just bad. No! <laughs> what are you doing? Why? Oh, wait. Oh, God damn it. Again, I got reversed. Yeah, he's got to go the other way. Uh, I think you throw it now. Yeah, you're out of disturbing presence. Oh, I, I hate these. Just let it rip. Oh, why? Oh, he better throw it. Come on. I got all twisted in my excitement. Inaccurate's good. But you didn't stand up your guy, did you? Fucking hell. Mm. So frustrating. And he re-rolled it. Yeah. Couldn't see that working. All because he didn't stand up the guy. If he stands him up, I bet you he gets it. Because it's just better. It's just better. Yeah, but you're, it's not going to punish him at all. He should have completely just let the inaccurate pass go. Who knows? Because if he's still got that reroll, he's still looking pretty good, right? Like, imagine it lands there on the inaccurate pass, right? He's got a reroll to dodge, pick up, and go after, and just run down the field, right? Now he's got nothing. Inaccurate still advances the ball. Please stand this fucking guy up. This is why you're in this spot. Partially. There should be at least one guy over here with him, but no. Now he's alone and useless. I guess... No. I wouldn't... Uh, come on. Come on! Why isn't the Yeti blitzing? That was such a bad one. The Yeti at least gets two guy on the fucking guy with sure hands. I would have rolled that, I think. Although, I guess if it goes to kicks, yeah. It's just he could have surfed them, right? So. Still can't, I guess. But. Why isn't the Yeti blitzing sure hands? Why are you throwing a one die? It's going the kicks or Teddy just wins. So many opportunities for Sam. Oh wow. Might be going the kicks. It's 
Stand up, you guys! For fuck's sake, Sam! Oh my god, he finally did it. Well, now he has to decide if he's going to commit any rerolls. He's only got one. That's why I didn't like... Why didn't the sure hands guy come over and pick it up? I don't understand that. He was in range. Then it would have been about GFIs, two pluses, which are way better rerolls than three pluses. Blitz with the Eddie, I would imagine. Okay. Nice. Why did you reroll that? Can someone explain that to me? Why did Teddy reroll that? He moved two squares, right? So three, four, five. The GFI? He was worried about the GFI? Dude, just roll the GFI. Fuck it. Well, you can't do anything. He's almost pitch cleared. I mean, if he gets it, but if he doesn't... Alright, push him back one. He's still in, like, range though, right? GFI now. So, all clears. It's a GFI on the... If he gets a push on the first, though. Wow. I don't... Just... Wow. I don't get it. That was so bad. Just fucking roll the GFI. Save your reroll. Who cares? You've still got this guy in position. We're going to kicks. Kind of deserved such a crap game. Wow. Just unbelievable. I think Teddy had that in the bag. Civil servant score. Sam splits the D. Alright, we want to see a miss. It's typically not the first one who misses from my memory though, when it comes to these kick out things. It's always the second team it feels like anyway. Whoever gets to go first almost inherently wins. I don't know if that's a bug or if I've just never seen a game where it didn't work out that way, but all the ones I can think of, whoever got the kick first always seemed to win. But we'll see. I'd like to see them not win for once just to prove me wrong, but then my guy would win as well. So there's that added little bonus, but it feels like that's how it works. Wow, three for three. Everybody brought their dancing shoes for overtime and penalty kicks. Another one, yeah. Teddy's gonna win. On kicks. Yeah, there it is. See, it just always feels like the second one always loses. Whoever kicks second loses. Is that a thing? Is that really a thing? So it just happened again, basically. The, se the guy who kicked second. Wow, 26 armor breaks to 11. God damn. That's what you get for winning the coin toss. 75 blocks. 16 removals to 5 on 56 blocks. So let's, let's look at that. It's better than 1 in 3 hits generated an armor break. Better than, like, basically every third hit was an armor break. How That's insane. And when he did break armor, two-thirds of the time it was a removal. <laughs> oh my god. 
Yeah, I think, I think, uh, of course I was streaming, dude. Yeah, you definitely got handed the better of the dice. For sure, Teddy. Oh my god. Civil servants. He only broke you one in three times. Carols were awful. Wild animal was great. Okay, you can't you can't even complain about the pickups, dude. Just go look at the dice log. Your armor dice were on another planet. Like he just he had no chance. <laughs> He had no chance. Looking at the dice log. He was fucked. Everybody has block. Well, there might have been no kicks anyway. I have no idea why you re-rolled the Yeti block. That was just awful. Awful. Yeah, but considering how amazing those armor dice were, you can't complain. It's not allowed, not my stream. Dude, the pickups were irrelevant in my opinion. At the end of the day, it was that reroll. Your last two rerolls, I think, were both poor. When you went to pick it up with the runner, I don't think you should have rerolled that. There was no real reason to. Why didn't you run over and just try and pick it up with the sure hands guy? Don't know. Why did the Yeti re-roll? That's right, dude. It's the way I see it. Because I'm the one with the mic. Like, look, look. You broke him 59% of the time you hit him. I don't want to hear about pickup dice. You broke him 59% of the time you hit him. He went to injury dice 54% of the time when you broke him. Uh, four KO rolls, only four of nine. Casualties, 72% in your favor. Dodges on the number. Failed catches. Picked it up. Wild animal was awful. Like, you can't look at those armor dice and complain to me about pickups. You can't. You can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> can't, can't, can't listen to it. It's stupid how good those dice are. Just absolutely stupid how good those dice were. That was, uh... That was, uh, was this one, right? No, it was not this one. They do matter if there's nothing on the pitch to go after the ball, as we saw at the end of the game. There's one guy left on the pitch. Was this number three? Did I click four or three? I clicked four. This might be five, actually. Yeah, it's five. All right, so that says it for that matchup. Uh, again, it's just my opinion. Congrats to Teddy. You did win. You did win. I mean, wow. What a shit show. And the frenzy traps in the first half were stupid. The two of you were just seeing who could outdo each other with a frenzy trap. <laughs> but that's it for that match. I guess that was uh, group five. So it's a win for Abandon. Enjoy it. Probably the only one. Let's be real. And look how he had to get it. Look how much shit had to happen for him to get that win. Feels bad moving forward. Go team. Hail to the D, baby. I am Duran. Thanks for watching.